YouTube family, friends. Sunday morning before Christmas, and uh, we gassing up the truck. We'll grab a cup of Wawa, and then we're gonna go back and put that grizzly saw together. See what that's all about. So uh, I guess we'll make a little video of that and post it. So anybody's contemplating buying a grizzly saw, we'll see what we got and maybe be able to make up their mind. So, anyway, that's what we're gonna do today. I'll say, uh, show you these lights. Um, you see it's beautiful out this morning. It's cold, but it's uh, pretty and sunny. Now watch, this is six LEDs in here. Boom, daylight. We got um, three recessed ones here. And this place is lit up. 40 watt, these are um, 3,500 lumens, Sunco. Pretty impressive though. All right, time to open this thing up and see what's in there. Maybe a girl jump out of like a birthday cake. We got two of these bases, one's not here yet. Oh, this obviously came from Grizzly too. So it says in this instruction manual that for a situation like this saw, you can assemble the base around the machine. This thing's been here for a couple of weeks while it's finishing up the ceiling. This is truly a luxury for me, and I've never had a cabinet saw like that. I bought a, um, my gosh, 35 years ago probably, I bought a Rockwell Delta 10 inch contractor saw and been using it ever since. And uh, just sold it for 100 bucks on Facebook Marketplace to a guy that really wanted it and um, good saw at the time, but it's not a cabinet saw. So this will be a, this will be a bit of a privilege. Yeah, this would be a treat. I've been doing home improvements and building cabinets and different things like that for almost 40 years. That don't seem possible, but it is. And uh, never had the luxury to have a nice saw like this, so I'm excited to get to use it.
Think everybody will be able to see that? Should make it a little bigger. We'll do something we wouldn't have done a decade ago, and that's we're gonna read the directions before we start putting stuff together. Okie dokie. Uh, we've got the base together. Pretty clear, simple instructions. Definitely a one-man operation. So if you're worried about how am I gonna get my heavy table saw on the rolling base by myself, don't worry about it. Pretty easy, uh, pretty easy project. So, uh, and I got one bolt left over, so I guess that means um, I did it right. <laughs> Packing bolts. Anyway, um, this thing is extremely heavy duty. Not disappointed in the quality at all. Um, front caster swivel. Uh, the back ones are fixed. And uh, this thing, you can see. I mean, it's, <laughs> you could dance with it if you wanted to. When you're ready to uh, put it in its position, push the uh, two feet down. I need to adjust them out a little bit and tighten them bolts, but on um, the rubber, feet come in contact with the floor and that stabilizes your saw so when you push your wood through there, you don't go running down the driveway chasing your saw. But, Really easy to do, really easy for one person, and uh, very high quality. So I'm gonna tighten this mess up and then we'll get back to um, putting the saw together. But if you order one of these saws, I'd definitely order the base too. That's just a nice piece of equipment and it's really nice to have the option to just roll that thing anywhere you want. Heck, I'll be out here, um, building cabinets and all if it's nice i push the saw out in the driveway you know i love being outside so that's definitely a plus for me anyway let me clean this mess up and we'll get back to putting this saw together we'll take a minute put some shop rags um, get the grease off of here I think I might have lost some footage. Santa Claus comes, okay? Bye-bye. I see you when Santa Claus comes, okay? <laughs> Maybe we'll get the guitar out, huh? When you come back, we'll get the guitar out? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Bye, babe. Try safe. I will be late. Okay. You got, uh, you will be? I'll go to the doctor that sees her clock. And drop in. And you got stick bug with you? Yeah. And that knows up out here?
All right, front, that's the front rail. It says to make sure that you're parallel here to the tabletop before you tighten them down on this L bracket. And then underneath we got some socket caps. Just pull this one forward. So it leaves plenty of room for the fence to ride. And then it says put this one on the back. So that's what we're going to do now. You buy this saw, you better get you one of these faces. Look at that. <laughs> Turn this arbor up. Look at that. That is unbelievable. is all right up. Adjustment on this fence is amazing. These two here, get the fence square with the machine, you see? So up, down, whatever. And then, obviously, you want to keep that, maintain that parallel to the tabletop. And we got a right and left adjustment. Stay parallel to the miter slot and the blade. And then we got a up and down on the back. So you can keep this at a reasonable distance. It don't get wood chips or whatever doesn't hit and that that is smooth it's slick so that's pretty awesome pretty awesome that still cracks me up this dust collection doesn't seem doesn't look like some of the other examples I've seen online See people are using uh, duct tape to see all the insides and all, but this thing has a catch below the blade and a, a pre-installed uh, hose. So I don't really be curious to see how well this works. Surprise you to know I didn't do real good in shop. Ain't that funny? Didn't do real good in shop. And it spent my entire life building. That's crazy. All the quality of this machine seems to be right on par. You can see it's just I mean all of it's good stuff. Fit, finish. Nice. You see, this thing's got a catch built into it. So it's not like it vacuums, it tries to create vacuum from the cabinet. And then that goes on there. I guess there's a hose clamp somewhere I need to find. You see what I'm saying? 
pretty nice setup. Okay, I think it pretty much does it for the assembly of this Grizzly GO833P. Um, I found the those lifting mechanisms a little difficult, so I got some gear grease put in there. Only contact much easier. Um, I did the saw setup off camera. No big deal, follow the directions. Um, I don't have a dial indicator. I'm not that crazy about it. Um, trust me, if you get to a 32 on it, if your cabinet work is that good, you're pretty good. So, I did have to uh, square the blade up slightly with the tabletop. Another thing is the oddball shaped plug for the 220. I'm gonna leave the 220 since I have uh, the power capability in this shop. Um, but I had to go to Supply House to get this particular outlet because um, the big box, the blue big box store, which is close to me, they, they didn't have anything like that. So uh, to the Supply House for that. And then I went on Amazon because we're gonna be cutting out here somewhere and my outlet is over here. So I went on Amazon and got the, got an extension cord with the uh, same configuration. Ain't real pretty, so I'm gonna fix this and we'll do something about this when I have a little bit more time to go hunt what I need. Uh, but we're gonna leave it 220. And let's go ahead and uh, let's fire it up. See what happens. All right, we plugged in. You obviously can't get work in this corner. That's why we had to order that. Smooth. Um, that's not the blade that came with the saw. That was just one of my good cabinet blades. Um, all in all, I got to say, I think it's a pretty decent saw. I mean, it's not a, it's not a twenty-five hundred dollar saw. Um, you know, a thousand or less, not including the base. Um, I think it's good value. It's well made. Um, everything is heavy, strong, so uh, at this point, no regrets. I'm going to run it for a couple of weeks and I'll let you new guys know when I think about it, but so far I like it. Anyway, I guess that'll do it for this video. I got, uh, got the bandsaw there to put together now, so we'll see how that goes. Alright, thanks for watching guys. God bless.